נח מעצה. נח אמונה. 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 You know, two mere guys, you know, and we're here all, we're all here to learn Parshas HaShavua, we are in the middle of the pandemic, drinking Corona, by the way, right when I heard about Corona, I bought stock in Corona, and then I made a music video promoting it. And they what? You gotta understand, stock in Corona, bro, you gotta understand where the human's minds are gonna be, we're gonna all be drinking Corona and be partying. No, and this thing is over. I understood at the beginning, in the beginning, even subconsciously, whatever, I was like, yo, this thing. But we're not here for Corona talk, we're here for politics. And it's funny that Corona is politics, because the horror, you would say, oh, Corona, it's like a medical sugya. No, no, Corona is a political sugya, and everyone knows that, and that's what's crazy. Okay. And we went through everyone here, so I'll begin to share, because our parasha starts at 10. ניצבים היום כולכם לפני אדוני אלוהיכם, ראשיכם, שבטיכם, זקניכם, שוטריכם, כל איש ישראל, all the Israelites, right? And just like now, we got all of the Israelites. And it's a uh, pretty gishmak, you know? We say, so we, list, we listed like the different leaders, and then we say, Tapchem, your kids, Nashechem, your, your women, Gercha, Sher Bekerev, Machanecha, converts. Right, and we know uh, we know that chotev memecha, chotev etzecha, right? The tree cutters and shoyim mecha, the water drawer, drawers, drawers, right? And we know that there's a whole uh, there's a whole thing with that with that nation that came in the time of Yoshua, right? And there's a whole thing about like that. Where, where are they geared with? Sugya. So, yeah. that's, that's why it specifically mentions those, those, uh, those guys, right? But those guys were in 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 Yeshua. Or they were already here now. They were here now. Same din. Same din, thing, thing happened to them. And it's a little interesting. What's going on? It's a little interesting. What's going on with that whole steez, You know, like, um, um, right? Uh, it was actually. The Gemara in Yuvamo says, in Ayin Tazmat Aleph, it says, Hanasinim, right? They, they say that they were, these were the Nasinim. Gazer Moshe al Chasonam Lahu Dara, right? That you can't marry them, I guess. Um, for that generation. Shedema Bechotevetza Ata David the Gazer, Asa David the Gazer Alayu Bekuli Dari. Ah. So David came and was Mechadish the Gazera on these Nasinim. This is an interesting topic because, like, you know, like these. With, with Moshe, Moshe with Gerim is interesting because Hashem told him, "Yo, take out Bnei Yisrael," and he was like, "Yeah, but I'm also going to take these, uh, these like these Amim, this Erev Rav. I'm going to take this collection, this big multitude of Amim. I'm going to take them with me because they uh, they want to come." And Hashem's like, "Yo, like it's not a good idea," and he's like, "I got to do it, right?" And then so that's uh, Moshe with the Gerim. So these also these people that they they were in the Sinim. But like he put them in their place, he was trying to figure it out, you know. It's not easy being a leader, you know. Moshe Rabbeinu, like, like you want to be, you want to be inclusive of everyone, but then like to make that cut is not easy. So like he gave him like he, he's like you want to, you want in Nesinim, you can get in. Show you make right. Uh, you can like help us with these things and let's see how it goes. That's a question. Yeah. Why wasn't it easy? Why well, I mean, is it easy to be a leader for Moshe? No, 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 but these guys, we, we were coming out of Mitzrayim, right? All the Jews coming out of Mitzrayim after, after 210 years of literally slave work, right? Well, first a little bit, okay. Either which way. These guys run in, we want in, and you're just going to give it to them? It's a question on both the the, Mitzrayim, the Arab Rav and this. Well, what, yeah. what really went on there? So, right, so what is, what's going on with Moshe that he takes in the Arab Rav? Right there. Right. Well, why did Shlomo, when he's building the base of Mikdash, why did he call Tyre? Why did he call the Tzir? Malchik's here, right? The Chlau were Freemasons. That's where the Freemasons come out. Why is he bringing the Freemasons? Why is he saying, we're building a base of Mikdash? Right? Non-Israelites 
get away from me, right? Yeah. Obviously, right? It, it, was, it was Israel, so it was the base of Mikdash. This was before the Pilgrim of Malchios. Right? This was before the ten tribes were split. Ayde, San, Cherev, the time of Cheskiyahu. So, it's interesting. I don't, like, and Moshe was like back and forth. He's like, yo, I'm taking the area of it. And then Boaz, and what's really interesting is that Boaz, when Rus says, why are you even talking to me? He's like, I don't care. I saw what you did with Rus. And he like saw, he's like, I don't care if you're not Jewish. It doesn't matter. Right? Chazal go in there with it's oh, Moaviyah and not Moavi, right? right? But it doesn't say Mitzriah and not Mitzri, right? If we don't, like, it, it, the law is not the same with, in. it's only with Amon and Moav. And it seems a little bit to be like an ex post facto kind of thing that they said, to be Matir, like, Lima Freya, because, like, David became king. And so, like, they said, oh, yeah, no, we have this. They say that maybe they have it from the base measure of Shmuel, Hanavi, right? So, they were Mechadish, that was, that was, or they, or they were Mechadish. But it, it is, it seems convenient, right? That, like, you wonder if, like, the character of David was from Egypt, if they would have said that abort, Mitzriah, and not Mitzri. Right? If uh, David came from an Egyptian lineage instead of from a Median Moabite lineage. Zer interessant, Rabbi Sai, that we're, that we're starting off and we're talking about this. The Chaira, it's a bizunder zach, you know, it's an Anderish sugya to go. We're talking about Nitzav and we're talking about Am Yisrael. Uh, they keep on mentioning the bris, is, is, is the bris, the bris, and we're coming and we're talking about non Jews, like that's where. The sugi is day is weird. Like, let's go back to the Torah. Like, why? Right? Zokdin Bazuk. Right? And it keeps on saying, Avraham, a bris. And it mentions bris a bunch of times. The man, he came Ozcha Hayom Lola'am to be a nation. And we're talking about the Nisinim and, and coming in, right? Lo itchem levadchem anochi kore says a bris hazos. Yes, Allah hazos. It's not. I'm not only. I'm not only making. Um, I'm not only making the bris and the covenant with you guys that were that were there at this last day. Moshe's dying, by the way. Oh, what's up? He says, "I'm not only making this bris. I'm not only making this bris with you guys." Ki es asher yeshno po. All of this here, Imanu. Omer hayom l'pnei Adonai Eloheinu. Everyone who's here with us. The es asher einenu po Imanu hayom. And the ones who are not there with us today. What do you guys think that means? The ones who are not here with us today. Oh, so Ra'a, quoting Rashi, very good. Rashi says the future. But, right, he says like, even the Atidim, the Doros Atidim. What does the Gemara say? What does the Gemara say? It's good, yo, it's good. And it's, a, it's interesting, like, oh, Rashi, right? Rashi says, Afim Doros Atidim Liyais. Ober... Well, Rashi also read the Gemara, so you have to assume. Of course, Rashi knew the Gemara, and he's maybe saying a different Shabbat, right? Of course, Rashi read the Gemara, that's not a suffix. But the Gemara in Shabbos, Andav Kufmem Vav Amr Aleph, says, Asher in Enupo, he says, that coming, the Rabos as a Gerim. The Gerim didn't see, they weren't there. Avo be the Inu Lohavu. Mazlayu Havu. Even though they weren't there, their mazels were there. And so it's coming to be Marbe, the Gerim. Maybe that gets both. What? Maybe that's what actually means it gets both. The Asidim, the Asidim of the Zeri Yisrael, and the Asidim of the right. people to come Right, right. Zogdor Haji, Doros Asidim Liyais. Does that mean that a Ger only gets his mazel once he becomes a Ger? No, that he had a ma- that his mazel, his mazel saw. I hear what you're saying. It ain't mazel Yisrael, so Adarab, I would say, I mean. No, he clearly had a chilek of something to do with Judaism in him. Right? His mazel was there. And first of all, not Judaism, because some, we're talking about all the Israelites now. He had some sort of chilek of but something. But it's not Judaism, it's Israelites. Yisrael. Because Ka Yisrael, right? right. right. I feel I, a little racist to call me a Jew because, you know, I'm from Levi. I say, I say, I, you know what I say? I say, I'm an Israelite. Don't call me Jew no more. That word is only religion. It isn't true no more. That's what he said. You know, I'm an Israelite. We're dealing with Israelites here, and all, and even the non-Israelites that come and want to become part of the of the Israelite nation, right? So their so their mazel saw it, right? 
Their mazel saw, but it's interesting again that we're talking about we're talking about we're talking about us becoming a nation, and again we're going to a sugya dealing with dealing with gerim and dealing with the outside. I would think that like okay, like we're at the end of the Torah. Let's just talk about like the the essence of like what's going on. Let's just talk about our nation. You know, it's the last day of his life, and this is the second rem as we saw. Right, the second remnant we, we saw to um, to the, we saw to, the, to not to non-Israelites, we saw to the Amim, right, the Goyim, as we as they call it. Very interesting. I think this is very interesting. That like right off the bat, Parshas and it's Sovim, Moshe's last day talking to us. Boom! He hits us twice with like yo, our relationship with the other, our relationship with other human beings, Homo sapiens on this earth. Moshe said, yo, I'm going to start my thing. Just be like, yo, it's very important. Very important for us as a nation to understand our relationship with the others. To understand the love that we have. To understand what Boaz says. When Ruth says, why are you talking to me? To even notice me, I'm not Jewish. I'm not Israelite. I'm from Midian. Not only am I not an Israelite, she's probably saying, yo, I can never, according to the Torah, I'm not ever, ever allowed to convert. But I was like, yeah, but I saw what you did with Russ. That, and I saw your following of the MS. And that <coughs> is the Nikuda that we should, uh, that we should look at. Okay, fine. But now probably like that part of, okay, so we mentioned our relationship with the other. Relationship. Let's see what's next. Amazing Pasuk. Amazing Pasuk, right? Pasuk Chav Zion, I think. You know, I was skipping a little bit of stuff there. They, Again, it was weird. They're talking, they're talking about... They're talking about like, a little bit like... Lo Yova Adonai Salach Lo. Right? Like, they're talking, they're talking a little bit more total that he's putting in there. We're like, yo, what's going on? Like, right? like, what's, going, like what's happening over there? As a klala kasuva v'sefer hazos v'yichar af Hashem. Like, why is Moshe talking about this on his last day? Ich face nish, blab and shver. just thought it was interesting. Interesting nekuda. But next we come to Pasuk Chav Zayin. And Pasuk Chav Zayin is one of... Pasuk Chav Zayin, Chav Tes, and Nitzavim are some of the most interesting Sukkim in the Torah. But it's Nitzavim. It's right before Rosh Hashanah. No one's talking about these Sukkim. Like, not no one, but like, you know, like people are like, you know, doing Achadahs and stuff. Yo, these Sukkim are fire! Zog Dehev Gitarah Kedosha Vayat Shem Adonai Me'ad Masecha Again, more of the clause, right? Be'avu v'chema, with, with anger and fury. Uvikedzev gadol, with a lot of, like, just, ketzev, you know? Wrath. wrath. Good, I like it. With a lot of wrath. Vayash, vayash lichem, vayash lichem, el eretz acheres keyom hazeh. Vayash lichem. What? Also, Kayom Hazes. Oh. Yeah, and Vayashli Chaim will be, and you will be thrown into another nation like these days. Now, first off, Vayat Shame is an interesting word. Vayat Shame, Zadraji Kitargumo, the Tal Talinun, and like carried you over, like, like, right? In any note, shame, I'll add my send that you guys probably recognize from the 12th parak of Yermiyahu, being in the mirror and all. Nah. They, they're very mocked and Navi there. Very mocked. Yeah. Really? They make us yeah. The first Seder is just Navi. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. It, it's With not. With Radak and Rashi and all the Farshim too. These guys aren't touching that stuff. It's not, it's not, it's not, yeah. <laughs> They've never opened the Navi. You all no, go to the mirror. Sure you go to the mirror. Yeah, yeah I, there are some people who go time, do it. You're but they're not, definitely not teaching it. <laughs> you go to, the, but, right, but the, 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 the the ones who are good, right? Lauer learns. Right, Lauer finished Tanakh. Right, Lauer and Nisana Lauer is like Zuntin Stark. Usher probably also. That would do it for Usher, of course. You know the, you know, but it's not taught. It's not. No. But anyways, I was just uh, busting shots because I also didn't know this puzzle, right? Because I'm Yeshivish. But <laughs> Rashi tells it too. But there's something very interesting about by Ashley Chaim. There's something very interesting about Vayash Lichem. I'm going to take it around so you guys can see it. I wish we had a Sefer Torah that you could see it. We're going to get a Sefer Torah on site one day. Yeah. Oh, we went over the line. Got you. 
The big lamet. And I was like, yo, like I was thinking like this whole week, like yo, what's Pshat and Lamed? You know? The Yatshem, the Gemara says that by Yatshem, says the Gemara, by Yatshem is, is um, Tanu Rabbanan, Aseres Ashvatim, right? This is Ein Lam Chel Biyom Haba, and they use this buzzer, they say, by Yatshem Hashem, by Ad Masam, by Ashlichem Eretz Acheres. That guy was like, was carried them to, to, from their land, um, and he threw them to another land. They had shame be olam haze. He carried them in the land. He threw them away. And he said, Eretz olam haba, did Rebbe Akiva. Rebbe Akiva says that, then drives the guy. He's like, I'm a little disappointed in Rebbe Akiva. I love Rebbe Akiva. We have to understand why he's like saying, why, like, we have to understand. We have to understand Pshat and Rebbe Akiva. Over, Mishum Rebbe Shimon, Amru, Rishim Bar Yochai says, Kayom Hazeh. Exactly what you said. You're like, yo, that Kayom Hazeh is big. Yeah, that's like straight, straight Mechavein over here. Just smelled something deep. <laughs> You're like, Mayom Hazeh? What? His spidey sense was tingling. Zok Rishim Bar Yochai. Kayom Hazeh. Im Haseim Kayom Hazeh. Einam Chosim. Listen, if they're still in the way, Right? They're still in the way that they're doing now. It's apparently, there was like some problem. Like they were, like Rabbi Shemar, that the, the reason they got kicked out, which, which, which whatever causes them to get kicked out, I'm not even sure what the, what the tarots, what the, what the problem was. But if they're Maasam are now, which is the reason they got kicked out, so then they're not Chosim. But in, if, if not, they are Chosim. So he was Medayak, but that saying that there is a chance for them to come back. Another Gemara. That's Vayat Shem. Bayom Hazeh. Zak the Gemara, same Gemara in Sanhedrin, Kuf Yadam Beis. I say, "Who's the Shvatim? Ainu Masidim Lachzor. Shenem Rav Yashdi Chaim Aleret Zacharis Kayom Azeh. Ma Hayom Azeh Holech Ve'Ainu Chozer. Av Eim Holech Ve'Ainu Chozer Im Tiber Rabbi Yekiva. Rabbi Yekiva says, by the Yom Azeh, he says Kayom Azeh, and he takes that and he uses that as a riot that they're not going to come back. And this is why I quoted. <laughs> Because they're already there. Ribi Akiva! Because it's the last tribe, Sugi. This is why it uh, sparked the note with me. Right, yeah. yeah. So he's saying, it. it's, this is, he's saying, just like it says with regard to the exile of the tribes, like like as of this day, so they're like, oh, they're not coming back. It's just like a day comes and goes and it's never that day anymore. So to the tribes went and they're never coming back. That's what Akiva said. And um, Rabbi Eliezer says, Kayom Hazeh, Ma Yo Ma Filu Meir. He's like, just like a day is um, is Ma Filu Meir. It gets dark, it gets light. Avazer is Ashvazim, Shafilu Lehem, that it was, Shafilu Lehem, it was dark for them. So, Asid Lahayir Lehem, it is going to be light for them again. Right? So we have three Sheetas here. We have Rabbi Akiva, who was like, nah, hold it. We have to understand that because but what's the shot? We gotta know because Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva, we love Rabbi Akiva. This is the first thing that Rabbi Akiva says. Like I was like, means that there's a unity in the world that's gonna it means that there won't be a split in the tribes. Don't wanna come back to one. Uh, it means that there won't be that split that there was. Maybe they're talking about two different asidas. Maybe one's talking about the asid of now Rabbi Shimon and one's talking about Rabbi Akiva, the asid of what will be. As as Rabbi Mori, Rabbi Chaim Ilson used to say, if you want it, you can have it. I have a terrace on this thing really. Yeah. <laughs> a homegrown terrace. Yeah, what's up? Why it's not a machlok between maybe or maybe Kiva. Let's actually first understand the machlokas. Let's get there for dessert. Let's, let's, let's first understand the three shitas that we have in front of us. We have Rabbi Akiva, who's saying like, they're not going to come back. Like, not, like, he just darshans everything in his sight against it. Okay. Then we have Arishim Bar Yochai, Arishimun, who says, no, he's like, it's a tanai, kayom is a tanai, if they're ma'isim or kayom azeh, so they're not going to come back. But if they, they're, they're ma'isim or not, meaning they, 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 it's like a tshuva, or something, we don't know what the ma'isim are, we got to actually see that Gemara in Sanhedrin, on uh, Kuv Yodon Beis, and we might. Then we, have Rabbi, then we have Rabbi Eliezer. Who knows Rabbi Eliezer? Which one? Rabbi Eliezer Agado. Oh, okay. You guys know who he was? Rabbi Eliezer? Stop Rabbi Eliezer? Yeah, the Tana. Yeah, the Tana. 
Yeah, what was his last name? Not Orkinus. Ben Orkinus. Oh, nice. Wait, who was the billionaire, dude? His dad. Uh -huh. he cut him off. His dad. Yeah. Only know about that because we're Blacksman. Yeah. Ben Blacksman, yeah! Orkinus. No, that's the rest of the um, Orkinus came to Shalami Rahim. The whole city was preparing. Everything was so well, well, alive. A great see you there. With all the good island, it would be night of the Ayim. Somehow Rabbi Eichenon got wind of his plan, and he arranged to have a suda lichavod adayra on that day of a so grand. He said to the Zambidim, when working his gums, no one should give him a place to eat. No one should offer him a seat. So, he said, Morganus is like, oh, amazing, like, I was going to go, right? He says, first I'll go to this, I'll go to the, I'll go to the base din, I'll go to the Suda, I'll see the, I'll meet the tummy the Chavim, I'll greet them one by one, and then I'll go to Yerushalayim, to the great base din, and disown my son. When Morganus came, the tummy the no one offered him a seat, as the Rebbe said. They just kept pushing him forward. Go up ahead, but well, 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 until he came to the top I've been on. And they set him down next to his son, Rev Yaichan. I was thinking that too. <laughs> Rev Yaichan on a roll. And suddenly he chose. From amongst his dummy, the millions that come here, I have from you a bakasha. In front of all of these good dialogues, in front of the entire island. Please say, Lechavo de Siu de Aderoshe. He cried, Rebbe, Rebbe, Icha, Bazoi Mahira. How can I get up in front of such an island and say to Ira, Come, come. We're going to go out Rabbi Eliezer and Orkinus. They're just passing through. They heard the call, so they're just doing a pass through show. Oh, yo. Come. Sit. No, no, bro. Oh, you don't have to. Okay, fine. So, anyways, Sir Eliezer and Orkinus, right, comes. His, his dad, like, kicks him out of the house because, like, he just wanted to go and learn in Yerushalayim. And, like, he ran, sorry, he ran away. His dad was, like, very rich. He runs away. He's eating garbage. He comes in. His dad comes in. He makes a, a, a Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan makes a, si a suda, lichvoda Torah. Horkinus comes in and he asks Eliezer to say a drasha. His dad doesn't know. That's what we're holding in the song. And so he said a drasha, and his face was shining like the like the like the midday sun. And Rabbi Yochanan got up and he says, "Fortunate are from Yitzchak v'Yakov that Zeb Nechem." Hey, Lega Ava is Hakidoshim, Ashrechem, Ashrechem. And fortunate is the Rebbe who has such a schos to have a Talmud like Eliezer, the son of Orkonos. Orkonos got up. He had to see. He cried out, It's Eliezer, Bini, Bini. He went into Eliezer's arms. And he hugged him and he cried. And he said, My Eliezer, Klai Israel's joy and pride. Ve hagiza ba yaimam balayla. Ki heim chayenu vi ayrech yameinu. Okay, so we have these three shitas. Remember, there's an organist. No, he started, he got a late stiggity start. Yo, we still running? Yep. All right, I awesome. I don't remember all that. <laughs> oh, it's from it's from years and years yeah, back no, in high school. Where is that a Gemara? No, oh yeah, it's a Gemara. And the, that's, I think the song is from Fred Waxman, Zai Gesund and Stark. You know, signed Kuai Shang, who's not here with me, right? The Gamei Nenu Itchayo, right? Um, and he signed my thing. Anyways, Vayashtem, but I still didn't know Pshat and Vayashlichem. Okay, Vayashtem, and there's three shitas about about the um. About, so one Shita, Shita Rabbi Akiva said they're never coming back. Shita Av Rabbi Eliezer, and this was Eliezer and Organist. He's like, bro, I was in the streets. You know, like Rabbi Akiva also has, it, has his story. But Rabbi Eliezer and Organist was in the streets. You know, he's like, yo, like, in his travels, he probably met some, some non-Jews, some 
not even not Jewish. Some Israelites, he was right, the Israel organist was up like in Israelite ter- territory. Something happened in his life. Rabbi Israel organist was put into Kherim, by the way. He was and something happened, but he was like, yo, they're definitely coming back just like a day. It gets dark, it always gets light. So do for the ten tribes, it got dark, it'll always get light. And so do for all of us, all humans. You know, we go through stuff, it gets dark, sometimes, right? So, and then it will always get light. That's Elias ben Horkinus. We have other shitas. Know, know that there's a sugi over here. But then, the giant lama in my Ashley came. I couldn't get shot. I was starting preparing shear for the beginning of the, beginning of the week. And like, yo, bros, you see the size of this lamid on the Ashley Chaim? You guys see that lamid? It's like that in the Torah as well. Why is the lamid big? You guys probably learned a lot of Torah in your days. You know, you've probably been learning Torah since like first grade or something, right? Anyone ever say Pshat in Ashley Chaim? Didn't think so. Oh, yo, I have Blavish Fair all week. I have Blavish Fair all week on my Ashley Chaim. A few minutes before Shear, I'm like, yo, like, what am I going to do? Say I don't know, I don't know Shot in my Ashley Chaim? Say, what if those mirror guys come back? My Ashley Chaim, I call my dad, Avi Mori. Tells me three Pshatim. I accepted two of them. It's not the first time you've called him and he's given you like Exactly. I, I prepare Shir and then if I have like a really hard question, I go to Avi Mori. Right? And he told me three Pshatim and I let him get away with two. I accepted two of them. Because two of these answers are Myridic. But he actually came with a big Lamed. Pshat one, my dad said. He said, because there were 30 Malachim in the, from Shlomo until Yoshiao, maybe I don't know who the last king was. Tidkiao. Tidkiao. Wow, it's a good thing we got these Israelis in here and these Mir guys. Getting slugged up left and right. Baruch Hashem. Right? The last, there were 30 kings, right? And that's why the Lamed, because Lamed is Gemachi at 30. But my dad said another shot. My dad says Lamed. Lamed. He says the reason that the exile happened, the reason that we were cast to the nations, the Yashlichim, Right? So my dad said, it's that we can go and teach the other nations. I hear that Lamed Lomed, I could also hear, I could also hear that we, that we can learn from it. You know, for every trauma, cultivate an opportunity. And through Corona, we could rage to foster unity. Words greater than the etymology of eulogy, like you could be if you choose to view the good in things. Since when has it been our job to teach the nations other things? That's it. I that's shame. I mean, my you can take it up with him. We say it's a whole team. Hashem separated us from them. I say it's for us to learn. He's separating us so he can train us. No, I like I like I like the question. I agree with him, and that's why I think it's that we should learn. I think the shot is that we can learn through the tough stuff. We have something that we needed to learn. Right? And we are going to learn. We can learn from everyone. Or Lagoyim. Or Lagoyim. And or... Fra- like, listen. By Ashley Chaim. You should plus it. You should into the nations. Yeah, that's, or, that's another... I think it's the nations. And I think it's the same, same idea behind what the Jews call themselves Amma Nivchar, chosen nation. Like, yeah, like, everyone should view themselves, as that Magain said. Everyone should view themselves as chosen with like a, with like a purpose, a way that they can use... Every, forget about nations. Every human should view them, themselves as like, yo, I have like gifts, and I have like these, these, these special things about me that no one else has, right? And everyone has their nakuda, and like, yo, like, let me like, let me use that to lift the world up. Lamed, look right now. Right? Vayash lichem, we were thrown lamed to learn, I think. I think that shot, better, I like that shot better than teach. Or it could be both of those Or it could be, it could be, but all those shot, lo achra. I hear. What's the third one? Full circle. Oh, the first one, the reason that the Lamed is big. The third Number three. Number three what? You didn't like. What? You said you wanted to pick yourself out of Oh, the third one that I didn't like, the shot that my dad said, it was bad. I didn't even write it down. We could learn It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, an ex- it wasn't like a good shot. I don't remember what it was even. I was just like, ah. Like right when he started, I was like, yo, he's going nowhere, this shot. Let's get out. Let's get out. the next puzzle. Zuck, the All next right. buzzer. Shabbat shalom. Yo, Shabbat shalom, guys. Nice. Come through anytime. That was so nice.
Yo, good to see you guys. Good to see you. Did, yeah. you, did you hear the call of the Torah from the Rakevet? Yeah, yeah, we heard That's it. That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> nice. Hanis <laughs> Daros! Hanis Daros! Adonai Eloheinu! Behani Glaos! Lanu Levaneinu! Adolam! Lasos! Let's go to Rey Atairaha! Zeis! Yo! What's the Bazuk? Take that Bazuk for me, near guys. The hidden things are for, for Hashem, for God. The revealed things are for us. The what? The revealed things. The revealed things are for us. Lot of Now, it's, a, it's an if, ultimate question. What's what? revealed and what's secret? Oh, uh, good. We, we need a Hagdara. We need a Hagdara for sure. Adailam. But what did you say? I have a B'Shan on his stars. You have a B'Shan on his stars. Um, okay, let's hear it. I asked a Rebbe of mine one time, because, like, you know, I see. I see myself and I go through my ups and I go through my downs. Sometimes they're big and sometimes they're smaller. And then I see other people, which never compares to other people, but it's something that naturally happens. They live it now. And I, I'm like, why does this guy not seem to be ever falling, never seems, just seems to be going constantly and just nothing happening? So he answered me this answer. He said, I'm start to show the Kano. I'm starting to show the Kano. Yeah, you want to. If this doesn't fall. Yeah. There's a reason that I don't deal with this stuff. Sorry. I like I I, I clawed out of my out of my lane over there. I was supposed to be listening to this guy talking Torah. I'm like thinking about the video. Yeah, was it happens. I have a wing while you say this. Sorry, but the idea is like, Hashem, Hashem decides what's going to be going on. Not always do we understand it, and that's what I'm sorry, Hashem again was. This is how it works. This is what Hashem decided. This is what Rest in Hashem was, and that's all we have to know. We as Jews have to know we gotta we gotta we gotta do rest on Hashem. After that, that's Hashem's part. We gotta do our part. I think that's I heard. some of the channels. Well, now look around at the And then this road is talking about like things we don't understand. But then when we go and understand it, then it's ours. And then it goes. And there it goes. So you make things start. I make But I think there's always something that are. I hear. I hear. I hear. Maybe it's like what do you see? Like this stories. Hashem, but once it comes to Nigla, it's Lanul Vanenu. Then you gotta really go and teach it to your kids. Right, there's something that's you go through Nistar. something that's Nistar, that's you're in a piece of Nistar where it's dark and you don't know what's flying in the world, and then you don't know what's going on, and then all of a sudden, bam, you get a moment of clarity, you bam, you, you get out. However, that's a beautiful over. Right there. The then, then, then you, you take though. that, you take that, and Lanul Vanenu, and you pass it on, man. You become, make other people your kids, and, and teach it to them. So why is it that it becomes Nigla for them? Don't keep that Nistar just for yourself. You make that right there. You pass it on. Everybody knows. It's nice. It's nice. Everyone's saying pshat. Yeah, that's your Oh, it's pshat. Pshat. You're gonna say pshat in a puzzle without seeing the words. Without seeing the words. Lanu ulivanenu ad my love. What? You see? You see? Are those? You see? Oh, what's the dots? Oh, there are dots. Diggities? Dots? Dots? And we're just gonna just say shot in a puzzle and not talk about the dots? It's emphasis, man. Oh, it's emphasis. This guy's saying shot in dots. <laughs> this guy's saying a shot. Okay, let's hear him out. Emphasis. For emphasis, okay. Mech Daisy. Mech Daisy. Exactly what I was saying. Run over name. That you pass on, pass on the Nistar, the Nigla. Nistar that you had that became Nigla. Doesn't explain why I had that dot. Not only does it not explain the dots, but it also doesn't explain the dot on the iron. Of odd. Right? Where else do we have dots in the Tyra Kadesha? We have it by Ace of Inyaku. Oh, we have it by Ace of My Myridic. Myridic. We have the Ace of Inyaku. What does it say? I think it was at the time where he told him the hero, if I remember correctly. It's not by no. when he cried? By Ashkeu, when he kissed him. Ah. It says he, he hugged him when he saw him. It was right when he saw him, right? He hugged him and he kissed him. By Ashkeu, and he kissed him, and they're dots. Rashi ties it up. Rashi ties it up in two ways. What are the two ways that Rashi ties it up? He was trying to bite his neck. He was also trying to... Look for diamonds. Look for diamonds. But I think that was Lavan. That was also Esau. Oh, yeah, you're right. <coughs> Who said anything about diamonds? That, that was Lavan. That was Lavan. Yo, diamonds, Mandekar Shmei. Mandikar Shmei? You don't know Mandikar Shmei? No. 
Oh, come on. How, how long have you been in the oh, mirror? Oh, man. Mandekar. It's Dakar. Dalit, Chaf, Reish, and the Dalit and the Zion are interchangeable. And so it's like, Maz Nizachar et Hashem. Mandekar Shmei. Anyways, who's... Mandekar Shmei over here, right? So his neck turned to marble. That's that I remember. That's a yeah. I didn't know the second shot. One maybe is his neck. I don't know if it's the same answer or it's two different answers, but his neck became hard. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, there's, there's a measure that said that like that this is I know just also know from like growing up me, little measure says this, but there, there's two ways to look at the vayashkeu of the dots over there. One is that he wasn't nashkeu bechol libo, and Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai actually has an interesting nakuda. He says Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai says that says that it's like halachal Moshe misina the age of Sonas Yaakov. But at this time, the dots are actually coming to tell us that he was Menashe Kim Bechol Libo. That like, Nimkru Alav Rachamim. Rashi says this? I think so. I think Rashi brings these two days, but it could be more. But I think, I think Rashi brings these, these two shots in, yeah. Um, oh, I didn't bring my entire Chomish, okay. Stagin. Stagin Do. Those are the two pshatim. Either it means that it's not really or that it is really. But a lot of the ad, we saw some, as I was uh, learning this uh, with, uh, with uh, Ari Yisrael earlier, we just, like earlier in the week, which kind of way I did do it, we saw some, uh, some Mepharshim talking about it, saying some pshatim, you know, saying the pshat that like, so first we thought, first like, like at the, why is it also on the ad? Why does it have the extra one on the odd? Right? odd olam. Why is there an extra one on the odd? Why is there eleven? If it was ten, I'd be like, okay, it's like zero, it's whatever. I'll like let myself like kind of like get a little get a little uh get a little chasidish and say like vorts, you know? But there's one on the on the there's the eleven. So I'm like, okay, great, nothing gamachia. Now I can like actually think about this like as a sugi, like what's going on? So we saw Sforno. I think, but it might have not been this forno because we saw a lot of pshatim. I don't remember who, who says this pshat. But he says that there, you remember who it was? What's the pshat? The, that, star, that Ladonai Eloheinu is 11. And that was really supposed to be like the dagesh is that it's on that. But they didn't want to, it wasn't like Kavo to have dots on the Ladonai Eloheinu. So they put it on Lanu Ulevanenu Ad. Yeah, this was the commentary on Rashi. Mm. They, they're like Ian on Rashi. That was one, are you sure it was one of the Ian's on Rashi? We saw a bunch of those guys on Rashi. Okay, right. right now we're going to oblige fair with where the, where the Makor is. Um, it was the Ian on Rashi. Uh, maybe, maybe. Um, we saw two. There's two Ian's on Rashi. I don't remember. Well, uh, yeah. So well, a lot of them, a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, the people, like, so anyways, I just thought it was like uh, an interesting an interesting zach, you know, when you're coming across a big lamed in the Sefer Torah, if you're coming across 11 dots, when you come across something, you got to figure, figure out like, what's going on in the Torah, you know, and I thought it was cool that they both uh, came to it, they both had that, and that is, that basically rounds out the first aliyah, all right. The next aliyah, in the other two, what we'll say about it is that it's pretty interesting in the sense that it's right before right before Rosh Chodesh, right before Rosh Hashanah, right? And um, they mention tshuva in every pasuk, basically. And it talks about the talich of tshuva. It says, V'ashivos al vavecha. It says, V'shav da'ar Adonai, V'shav Adonai ashvusecha, V'shav v'kibetz v'mikor amecha. And the, 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 the theme is tshuva-based. And I think that when we're in Shul on Shabbos, that we should think, we think about think about now. Like, what is the tshuva? There are gemaras that talk about the shav. Like, what's the order of tshuva? Is are we going to have to return to God first? We shav da adadonai, and then it's the shav adonai lechas shvusecha. So Achlokas in the gemara somewhere, they talk about they talk about the shav. They talk about like. What is the process of tshuva? It's the that are like, we say, like, Hashibenu, Hashem, Elechev, and Hashuvah, like, you make the first one. Oh, that's the other one. And then nice. we'll come back. Nice, hair. Yeah. And so, and so, um, just, uh, that tshuva gets a shout-out. 
Also, I came with a Gibble gets a shout out. Suffer called Aris gets a shout out. And then we're going to Gimel and to the third Aliyah. And we see, we see a, the Lashon of like La Sus Alechem Kisa Kasher Sasa Levecha. Like, like, to suit La Sus, like, rejoice on you, just like he was rejoicing to give Tov to the enemies. And again, we're seeing an idea of Hashem rejoicing. Yud Bigiri Bez. The Torah is not in the sky that you say. Who's going to go to the sky and get it for us? The Yashmi Enu Osa that we hear of in Asena will do it. Like it says, not by Shabbat Yemi. Zuck Rashi, very famous Rashi. What does Rashi say, guys? Guys, Rashi it says if it was if it wasn't Shabbat you would have to figure it out how to get it. It's not in Shabbat so you don't have to figure out how to get there. But if it was in Shabbat, you got to figure it out. You know. There's no, no, no walls between us and the Torah, Kedosha. You can't allow anything to come. No chatzitzes. No chatzitzes over here. But it's not in Shemaim. It's actually closer than you think. Don't worry about it, yeah? I uh, wanted to uh, show this. Loba Shemaim. Right? This took you of Taner Shel Achnai. Right? This is uh, my snake. Taner Achnai. It also says, poor it's get there. And then, yeah. And then uh, this is... Um, and the inside, it says, look at me, which is the last thing that Snape said to Harry before he, he died. Uh, um, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it happens to be that um, Nagini, who killed Snape, I believe, was a python, and then Achnai is a python. Tanr Shal Achnai. Tanr Shal Achnai of Loba Shemayami. Right? The Machlokas, right? Rabbi Eliezer ben Horgan is our boy. As an organist, the lover of the ten tribes. And he was said the halacha is one thing, and Rabbi Yoshua said the halacha is another thing. Right? Rabbi Yoshua, Rabbi Yoshua was, had an achsania, and he would like help the boys like get stuck, right? Um, Rabbi Yoshua, he would help the boys like eat, and they would get food. He was like a very big uh, al But he was saying that he was being, I think he was saying that this, this certain oven was us, it was, was tame. And the is like, no, no, it's tower. He's like, if I'm right, walls will fall down. We've all spoken about this so much. If the kids are, walls will fall down, walls fall. He says, it's not going to pass going to talk about walls. Mm-hmm. If I'm right, the Amatamayim is going to go the other way. It will pass It does. It will pass it the way. If I'm right, right, this tree is going to jump and it's going to ya karis atmo a hundred parsa. Does it? Paskin alacha like like trees. I paskin alacha like trees. <laughs> He says, if I'm right, from the sky, from the sky, from the spiritual spiritual realm. See how the Shvai from the right? Basko. That's the Basko, the Amra. Thanks. Then you're right. Ma the Rebbe Yezer, the Lacha Kamoso Bechol Mako. Wait, right? And it says, come, Rabbi Yoshua, the other, right? Loba Shemayami. That, that, like, we go according to the rove, right? Wow. A very, very interesting thing. Yeah, that's a dasa type of Lano Veneno. Lano Veneno is like where <coughs> What? That's the dot on top of Lano Veneno? Yeah, it's a card in. Okay. Lano Veneno with dots is the Lano Veneno with us and many people. Meaning that we go like the word Loba Shemayami is English. And this is like Shemakim Nigwas for us. It means the Torah that we have is all ours. It means it's us for us to pass it. It's for us to make the Right. To the Nigla is. So you say the Nigla is talking about like Torah is a Nigla. Not Torah is a Nigla. The whole Torah is the Torah of Shemayami. So what's the star ice? The star is. According boring. to that board. According to that interpretation of Nigla ice, what's the star ice? Above and beyond. Mm. Above and beyond. Things we can't figure out. All right. All right. All right. Alright, alright, alright. Um, so that's the Loba Shabbai for right? And now we get to Dalit, the fourth Ravi. Ah! Oh. In the house. Yeah, Reb OG. Zachariah. Zachariah. The Ankuthlis. The Ankuthlis are in the hizzy. What's up, bro? What's up, 
Um, you got just we're talking about Loba Shamayami. And we're talking about our we're talking about like our role in in deciding the Torah and and Loba Shamayami also implies the dynamic nature of the Torah. You know? Oh yeah, we're posketing. And like people that get too fundamentalist, like Ravelli has been organized, they're like, dude, Loba Shamayami. Uh, yeah, we're figuring it out, you know? Shtagging duh. Shtagging duh. Alright, so then it's Re'ein Adazi Levanechem, right? God gives, as a chayim v'yaz tov, life and good, v'yaz a mavaz v'yaz ra. Right? Death and bad. And we talk about Avaz Hashem, right? It's a beautiful puzzle, like Hashem Anochi Mesav Chayom, Lahavaz Hashem, to love Hashem, to love Hashem, to love Hashem, God. Let us be derachav, to walk in his ways, etc. Okay. Vim yifne levavcha. And stuff happens. Basically, like, these are the two options. Right? You get two options. And it says, Vayidosi vachem ayom ezeh shemayim ve'ez aretz. Vachayim ve'amav ez ez venecha bracha ve'aklala. Right? God is saying, I'm giving you these two, these two, uh, these two paths, right? And then what does he say? Uvacharta bechayim. And we're like, and you should choose life. He's saying, I'm giving you two paths, right? But he's saying, like, yo, like, I, I, I really suggest, you know, like I got the insider trading, you know. Ani morelachem zokdrashi. I'm going to teach you so you know how to choose life. Like a guy who says to his son, Like take a good, take the, take the right thing. The father says, listen, you can have all of this. Take the right one. I'm going to help you treat, make the right choice. You should choose this one. You have a choice. And he's telling us, like, listen, like, the guy who made the game. Okay. Um, okay. So, Rabosai, that is, um, I just always thought that it was interesting that he's like, you have two paths. Okay, so then how are we bachar to bachayim? The man tichyeh tav is arachas that you live. How are we bachar to bachayim? Lavaz Adonai lo echal. To love God, to shmoa bechol. Listen to his voice. Uli dov kavai. And to, and to, to, Cling, you say? Cleave. I like better, but I like cleave. Uledav kabai. Ask the ask the Gemara in Kesubis and Dav Kuf Yudal from Beis. Can you be Daivik Mishchina? Say. That did not just happen. Zachary, you come to the doctor. Yeah, I talk about Zachary. But is it possible to be Dovik Bishkina, Rabbi Zay? What does that mean, Dovik Bishkina? Is it possible? Is it possible to cleave and to, to cleave to the Shechina? Right? Of course not. The Shechina is, is, is not something is not something physical. So how can you cleave to a Shechina? Says the Gemara, Ella. Anyone who, who marries his daughter off to a Tamachacham. And he does pragmatia with the Tamil Chacham. Pragmatia. Yeah, and he doesn't he doesn't record a goose while the Tamil Chacham is speaking and saying amazing <laughs> Torah. Right? National Geographic, sorry, bro. That's the Shalom. Because he was looking for the It's all good, it's all good. He gets excited, all the people are here. He gets excited. But you know, he's coming to learn Torah, and he's also pissed that you guys are being rivato. Um, kidding. Yo, he's got, he's got to be, he's got to be uh, Google or something. Anyways, Rabosai. Yeah, that's. Anyways, Rabosai, Rabosai. What does the Gemara say about about the Dabkabo? It says, "Haozer pragmati al tami de chachamim." When he does, yeah, he does like he like, helps the tami chacham. It really pragmatic, you know, like his practical stuff. The Gemara says that he deals with, deals with like his money. The man tell me and he gives like from his stuff 
he gives the Talmud Chacham, he lets the Talmud use his stuff, and like enjoy his stuff. Malei alav hakazov, ke'ilu mizdabek b'shechina. The, the Torah considers that the way that we can cleave to God. Yeah, by um, by clinging and by cleaving and by helping Adam and Chacham live. So what do the Lutak say about this? I know I, I can tell you what the what the Gemara, what the Gemara Ksubis says about this. But the Lutvags, I don't know. The Adam and Chacham is where the Shechina is. We'll say it's the way to cling to the screen is we had the Alam Shalom. I don't know if I agree. Uh, I don't know if I agree. By the lit box, by the lit box, there's a tremendous respect for Tommy Dechachamim. By the lit box, you have people walking after Rav Usher like a goose and his daughters and sons. And Rav Usher walks, and behind him, there are a bunch of squawking charedim. Squawk, 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 so like, there's a lot of like kavod for the tummy in in the in the litvish world, and like we can learn something. But I think we also treat our tummy dechachamim pretty good over here. So um, you know, as they say, shtaigenda, and as they say, weiter, right? Because there's another gemara, kiu chayecha veorech yamecha. You guys know what we learned when it says, right? Because the pasuk says. Right, with the dav kavai, to cleave to the shechina through the dam chacham, and to give him stuff, and help him with his olam hazeh hustles. That's really what it is. It's like yo, that's what that's what um, I want to say. It could be that that's what Rashi says. Uh, it could be that someone else says this. But the reason is is, is that he could be panoi to learn Torah. That he doesn't have to deal with all of this distraction of olam hazeh. That he could just sit and shtay. And so the way that we could all be misdabek b'shechina is that we could help Tamidei Chachamim live. Ferish Gemara, it's a Ferish Gemara. And the Zohar, Mir Tisham, to be Mekayimit, you know. Um, but there's another Gemara, right? Because the, the puzzle goes on. Ki uchayecha v'yorechamecha, this is your life and the length of your days. Ki heivchayenu v'yorech yameinu. And our neshamas ache v'tayer libeinu. We want to be zavavavaycha. Once more, when Hashem calls out, anavavavaycha, to be swept away. Right? We like like kiyucha yecha ve'orech yamecha. It is your life and the length of your days. You guys know that Gucci Gula is also a big time chelik al My man's proud, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving, but I got my head up. Yeah. Waddling <laughs> <laughs> around. So gishmak. So But what is? What do we learn from Chayecha v'Yorech Yamecha? A Gemara that I would say that everyone here knows and has learned before. Say, what, how could you know what everyone has individually learned? And like everyone here is at different levels. How could you tell me that you, like everyone here has heard of this Gemara? I don't know, I have a feeling. Gemara in Kedushin on Dav Samich Amabez. I think. Right? Oh, no, sorry. Mem Amad Aleph. Not even close. Listen, I'm not always right on the money. Sometimes my brain says things. Sometimes I do things. Sometimes, listen, I'm not perfect. We're all just doing our best. It's a very hard time in the world. And we're all just doing our best and like choosing like the best usage of our time. And we're sitting here in Yerushalayim drinking Karayne! Like a pilot's like, flyers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And like pilot, and by it, and by exactly, exactly. You know, we're sitting here in Yerushalayim. We're learning Torah. We're eating, we're eating wings. Five star wings. Five star wings. Our regular wings. We got, we got, we got open mic tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see some yidin. 
Heavy hitters. This is some heavy hitters. You know? This is the life and the length of your days. And that's what he says. That's how we learn it out. Zuck the Buzzuck Fighter. La Chavez, where? Brooklyn? Minsk? Pinksk? La Chavez, Allah, Dama, Asher, Nishba, Adonai. La Vosecha, La Avraham, Yitzhak, La Yaakov, La Seislahem. The land. And to sit on the land, right? To sit on the land and shtag Torah. That's the end of the Parshish and the Tzavim. Hajran Allah. See you again on Shabbos. We do some Chazara. In the beginning of Ayelech, Moshe is, Moshe is old. We learn right at the beginning, right? speaking. even come and go. And God said, More words. Right? God said, that I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to Tavor this yard day, like this is something that the Eschanan he was davening for he wanted he wanted he wanted last day of his life he's like okay fine this is my lot what's the next move well first he's like I gotta teach him he's like Adonai Elohecha who over Elohecha God will come in front of you right hey um, and the uh, and Yoshua is gonna come and help you right and he's like yo He's like, um, lawyer, back a lawyer, Zavachah, he's talking, telling to Yeshua, like, the stuff he tells the Am Yisrael, he tells them, Chazkuvim too, you know, like, be strong, be a mate, be brave, and he says to Am Yisrael, then he says to Yeshua, he says, Chazak v'yamatz, be strong, be brave, he says, Lo yirach, nevavecha, lo yirpecha, Right? He, says, he said to Am Yisrael, God's going to go in front of you. God is going before you. And Yoshua is going to go before you. To Yoshua, he's like, listen, Adonai wa alich levanecha, hu yeimach, God will be with you. Lo yarpecha, he won't loosen his grip, lo yazveka, right? And he won't leave you. Lo si rav, lo sechaz. Don't be afraid and don't bug out. You know? That's what he's telling you. That's, that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's what, like, the leaders got to know. You know, like, we're all, like, leaders because we've died. We're the ones sitting here learning Torah in Yerushalayim. And that's sitting double masking it back at home. You know? So, like, yo, like, we're, leading, we're leaders and if we each have our own crews and our own situation. What does Moshe say to Yoshua? What does the Raya Mehemna say? When he's teaching us about leadership, Hashem will be with you. He will not, he will not let go. He will not, he will not loosen his grip, and he will not let go completely. Do not fear and do not bug, right? And um, that's um, that's why that's why it's like it's just we gotta know, we gotta know, no fear. It's a scary time because. No one knows what's going on. But if you understand the intention, and you understand what we're talking about, so then all of the world events make a lot of sense. If you understand the agenda, everything stems. But, you know, so, but do not fear. <coughs> right? Moshe wrote the Torah, and he gave it to the Kohanim, carrying the Aaron. Moshe wrote the Torah, very gishmak. Now we're in um, now we're in Lamed uh, Lamed Alav Yud. Vayitzav Moshe Osam Lemor. Moshe commanded them. Right? It says. It says first. It says. Vayichdov Moshe as Dora. So Moshe finished the writing of the Sefer Torah. And he gives it to the Kohanim. And all this is Knei Yisrael. Okay. Vayitzav Osam. He says to them. Migate Sheva Shanim. At the end of seven years. B'moed Shnasa Shmita. 
At the time of Shas Shmita, Chag HaSukos, on Sukkot. So we learn from all those things that the exact day is the Sukkot after Shmita. There's a mitzvah, right? Everyone is coming to see, but there's always a mitzvah al regel, and there's certain dinim. Um, that you, you choose to you read the Torah, um, neged, all of Israel, right? That's what do the Yemen Rab? No. No. Not the Yemen sorry. Shuk is a Pesach. The, 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 the Chagim. The Shalash Regalim, that's always a Shalash Regalim. This is already taking this. No, that, no, no. Hakel is a we said, it's B'chag HaShemitah, Moed Chag HaShemitah, B'chag HaSukot. It's the first day of Chal Moed, on this, the year after Shemitah. It's the first day of Chal Moed in the year after Shemitah. Um, in, of Chal Moed Sukkot, right? <coughs> And he's saying, Hagel is Aham and Ashim and Ashim and Ataf, the Gerga Shebi Kirbacha to my Gertoshav. The man he's moved, the man he'll do. So they're here, and that's it, they will learn. Oh, right, we got that Lamed over there. And they will hear, and they will learn. Come, he says, come to, like, at this time, it's, it's almost like the after party of Shemitah. It's after a whole Shemitah that they haven't worked. And now, there's a Mitzvah Ali al Regel. But now it's not just like the men. The men go on Lila Regal because it's just, it's not, now everyone goes on Nashim Nashim Betaf. The Gemara says, the Gemara says, um, Nashim Bayim Lil Mod. Nashim Rashi actually says this. Nashim Bayim Bayim Lil Mod. The Gemara Chagig and Dav Gimel and Beis. I'm an Aleph. Betaf is this Levis. They take Schar Limivay and they come to hear and listen. It's after they had the tough year of Shemitah that they couldn't work, which is really not a tough year but a party year. Right? That's what Ruvaini says. That like, yo, Shemitah is the year that you can, like, party. Some people, it's not at all. Some people can be bored for a year. Some what? people, that's just a really horrible year. They figured it out. If you had a moon, it worked out. Right. right. It's, a, it's a year. It's unbelievable. Well, Prison Corona weird, because you're stuck with your kids in your house. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Very similar. Put them to work very similar, anything. actually. Everybody, Everybody stopped working. Everybody sits around, trusts in Hashem. Good point. It's, it's a good point. point. It's a taste. I like that. No, yeah. but, you said it, bro. But, uh, but in Shemitah, really, if you think about it, you have people with feel. There was parties with food, probably. All, always. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you stories. guys have good. We're stories. saying a lot of nice ideas. Yeah, no. But we have an 84 year old <laughs> farmer who says that Shemitah is for partying. We have Messiah. We have Messiah. Anyways, after the Shemitah, after that year, finally they're going back, and now it's like, yo, everyone's got to come in to see this, to learn. Right? Because maybe like it was a tough year, and maybe, you know what, maybe people didn't keep Shemitah, maybe people fell, maybe people are like, oh man, I can't believe I didn't like, succeed in keeping Shemitah this year. It's like, don't worry, everyone come in, let's, uh, let's re-energize. It's a tough year, we got seven more years, six more years now of like business. It's like starting everything off, and so, uh, so they read Hakel, right? I think it's the Melech who reads it. It's like, uh, it's like King David's party after Shabbos. Oh, and uh... Malavamaka? Malavamaka. It's like, alright, we're about to go into the week, but let's just like bring Shabbos into the week. Yeah, Malav- yo. Yo, it's exactly like Malavamaka and Shemitah and Shabbos. Right. Shabbos. Yeah. Very I similar. That's yeah. before Shir also. We were talking about that just before. Oh, yeah? The Imam Shech Shabbos into the week. Yeah. yeah. Right. I was saying it's like a pinball. You know when you shoot over that fast part of the pinball machine when it shoots the ball so fast? Yeah, yeah. Shabbos is the kind of like shoot you into the week with that right. energy. It's Myrdek. Totally. It's totally Myrdek. I never yeah. thought that like Hagel. So yeah. Mirza Hashem, we're going to build a base to make dash. We're going to pay for it, and we're going to do Hagel. So we have a timeline of about two years, and a few mu- like a few weeks. You know, what? Because it's the year after Shemitah. The next year is Shishis. Next year is Shishis. Yes. The next year is Shvius, and then the Sukkot after Shvius. We have three Sukkots left in us to prepare for Hagel. This year we're going to have mad, awesome chills on Sukkot. We hope you guys come. And you guys will know that we're just we're preparing for that Sukkis hot kelt chill in two years. <laughs> yeah, vote super chill. super chill. Yeah, you can see over there. There's the uh, at graffiti. That's what it's gonna look like. Yeah, just so you know, what the petek is gonna look like. <laughs> That's Samich Sadi. You, I'll show you guys after. Um, anyways, so that. Um, that's Hakel, and it's a beautiful idea. Leman, Leman Yishmeu, 
Remind Yom Medu so that they'll learn everyone's coming together. That's the idea of Hakel. Um, and now it's in Vav, it's like, yo, it's like Mom is going, like, Hain Kiruya Mechel Amus. Right? And then into Zion. This next Pasuk is one of the most interesting Sukkim in, in the Torah. But Yomer Adonai Moshe, Hashem said to Moshe, He Nechash Shochev Im Avaisav. Are we good with the timing? Gucci's uh, staying away. Yeah, Gucci's always living with us. Hinchash Im Avosav. You're going. You're um, you're lying with your parents. They come Hamazeh, and this nation will get up. Vezana Achrei Elohei Necher. Nation dying, and like this is what God's telling him. They're like, yo, the nation's gonna get up, and they're gonna they're going to like go like be mizana with other gods nechar haaretz right elohim nechar haaretz gods of other lands asherhu vashama bekirbo vazavani veferes brisi asher karati to like I'm gonna get rid of my my bris like yo what's going on that this is that God's saying this to Moshe you know the Gemara in Yoma and of Nun Beis on Beis the Gemara in Yoma says. Tanya, the Brisa, Isi ben Yehuda Omer, Zeh Chavin and Mikrosh with Dor, Sheen Lam Achra. There's no Achra because this puzzle can actually be read in two different ways. Rashi stays away, interestingly. You would think Rashi would have like a field day. Rashi doesn't even talk. He says, He says, In Chasho Chev Im Avosav, you are lying down with your fathers, Vikam. Says the Gemara, you can learn it like that. Or you can learn it, Vikam Amazet, Vizana, and this nation got up. And um, and um, and like did a vodazara, right? So you can learn that two ways. The Gemara in Sanhedrin says, let's learn that the way that that the vikam is going on the top, right? Because you can learn the vikam and you got up. You learn that if you learn it that you're gonna you're gonna shochev im avosav, you're gonna lie down with your fathers, you're gonna vikam and you're gonna get up. It says the Gemara in Sanhedrin of Tzad the Yamad Beis, and this is. One of the candidates for how we know to chiyas amazing the oraisa. From that you're going to get up also. Also, is this a good raya? Because we know that the gemara knocked away all of those rayas to chiyas amazing in the Torah. The gemara says no, no, this isn't a good enough raya because you can also learn it the other way. The kama amazef isana. And this nation got up and and like did avodah zara and stuff, right? So it's not it's not a good raya because you can learn to come the other way. Ask the Torah to Mima, what's Pshat? Why would Hashem say this to Moshe? On the his last day, it says, oh, the, the nation is going to go and, and do a vote Zara. Right? Like, why would you tell him on his last day of his life? Like, why would you tell him such a negative prognosis? So the Torah to Mima says that you're right. It doesn't make sense that Hashem would say this. It doesn't make sense that Hashem would t- talk about the Avodah Zara that they're going to do. Therefore, if Hashem is saying this to Moshe, it can only imply one thing. It can't just be that, that, that God is trying to annoy Moshe. It can imply one thing. And what's that one thing that it can imply? That Tchiyaz Amesim is Minat Torah. Because it doesn't make sense to say the Pshat that Vikama Amazev Vizana, that God is telling Moshe, just stop that Yisrael is going to do a Bodhazara. It must be that the only reason that God is telling that telling Telling Moshe that it's going to be a Rosar, and Moshe saying, like, why are you telling me this? Oh, it must be that this Tchiyas Amazing, that there's a second chance. Yeah, it's going to get tough. It's going to get tough. But it must be that there's a second chance. Because if there wasn't a second chance, then you're right. Then there would be no reason that Hashem would tell, to tell Moshe that they're going to do a Rosar. The fact that he's telling them that they're going to do a Rosar must imply also that you could read it the other way, which is that there's Tchiyas Amazing from the Torah. Chazal spent a lot of time dealing with this stuff, and um, it's a, very important to know that the sugya of what's the deal with Tchiyas Amazim, we're dealing with Olam Hazar, we're dealing with Gimos Mashiach, we're dealing with Olam Haba, and so Tchiyas Amazim also is now entering the sugya. Back. You good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ba'anochi haster astir panai. 
you know, my yom ahu, I'm going to cover my face. We say, Esther min ha-Torah minayin, right? Anochi ha-Aster, Aster panai. How do we know that Esther's in the Torah from this? And this is the idea of Purim. That Purim, it come, the Gula can come. In, and in many different masks it's possible that the Gula could be wearing. Right? That's why we wear masks on Purim. Because it doesn't matter what Haman did. The end, it doesn't matter what Haman did. The end was Gula. It doesn't matter what Bill Gates is doing. Bill Gates is sitting on his chair. You're sitting on his, sorry, you're sitting on the chair of, of, of the Abish chair. Bill Gates is sitting on it. It's not his chair. Kids are on both sides. It doesn't matter, right? It's saying, Aster, 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 Banai, Bayom, Ahu. I'm going to, it's, it's going to be hidden. There's going to be times in the world where we cannot see God, where we can't see, where we can't see spirituality. It looks like there's two different standards here. It doesn't look like, Shema Yisrael, that everything's one. It looks like the air in between it is separating. It doesn't look like there's a seam that's connecting every single person and every single item and every single goat. It doesn't look like that. Hazdir, Hazdir, Banai. But just like on Purim. Right? And this is for Esther. This is just say where it's Purim. This is Esther. Esther is part of Purim. Esther was like, yo, like, she came up to this, like, spot. And she finds herself through crazy, through crazy concatenations, she finds herself, the queen... Mary Talachashvera was the only person that could help. Right? And she finds herself and, she, and she's like, yo, I don't want to, like, I'm, she's bugging. Mordechai's like, yo, maybe this is what, maybe this is why you're here. Maybe we all got to our position right now. In order to, in order to help this guru. And even if it looks hostile, hostile, life is tough. Because a lot of, cause especially for the people who don't understand what's going on, who don't see the agenda, they have their bugging face right now. Life is tough. Hostile, hostile, panai. But, you know how to look. Right? And when we say, it also says that Lo Yirani Adam Panai, you never be able to see, his, see God's face completely. But we can understand, we can see shadows, we can see shapes, we can see the Rishimo. So, even in that time, the next Pasuk, Ve'ata Kitzvu Lechem as a Shira Hazos, the mitzvah, to write the Shira. It's not only talking about Hazinu, even though. Even though, um, like Raji says, talking about Hazinu, but the Gemara says, talking about the Torah, like to write the Torah, the Torah says, yes, yeah, because this is the end of the Torah. Write this Shira. The Torah is called Shira. Cheskiyahu Melech would have been Mashiach, the Gemara says, except that he didn't sing. And San Cher would have been Gogu Mago. You know, tomorrow we're going to have, uh, we're going to have, in the midst of all this crazy stuff, we're going to have Hashem have people coming in and singing. And and singing and appreciating, appreciating the appreciating the dynamic nature of life, appreciating what's happening. The Aretz said, "What? Chesgi is not singing Shira. I'll sing Shira and Bimkomo." He said, "Hakadosh Baruch I'll sing Shira and Bimkomo Zot Tzadik," but it didn't work. The song of the land wasn't enough. We need song of us. We need song of the. We're all chelik us and the land. We're the part of God. The Hishtalmus, as according to Rav Kook, that's getting better. And Shira is appreciating. When we're learning Torah, we're learning things. When we're singing, we're just appreciating what we know already. We're appreciating the Torah. And um, we should always be partying and be happy and be chilling throughout all of this stuff, seeing what's going on, right? There, there are going to be times of Hasdir, 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 Shalom, but always remember, Lamanti Yelachli, Shira Azos. The Shira, the Torah, Hazino. See, yeah, next week it's a very good cliffhanger for what is the Shira of Hazino. I'm very, very excited to see what that's going to be with you guys um, to go into Hazino. Um, to, what's the shot in the Shira Azos? We'll do that as a cliffhanger. And Emir Hashem, Emir Hashem, we should, uh, we should be able to, we should be able to really have that, have that, and internalize that idea of Shira, because. The last Pesach on Bayelah. You guys are like, yo, this guy, you guys are like, yo, this kid is just like drifting off. He does not know how he's going to end here. Love it, love it, love it, the last Pesach in the Parsha. Vayedab er Moshe ba'aznei kol akal Yisrael. Es divrei hashira hazos ad tumam. This 
this song until its completion. And then it starts, Az Yashir. Moshe, we'll see what that is. By the way, Az Yashir, another one of the riots they try to bring for the Chiyas in the Torah. We'll continue learning about that. We'll continue learning about all this stuff. Shabizoche, Shabizoche. Big square. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. This is the guy in the yeah. Woo. I don't so, know how you do all this, bro. It's like two hours of mental memory and smart.